Hundreds of thousands of Missourians have met with their doctor through telehealth over the past year. But health care providers say access to the Internet is still a problem for patients. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley here to explain how lawmakers are working to find a solution. Emily. Vic and Mandy, roughly 20% of the state's population doesn't have access to high-speed internet. That's according to the FCC. And most of those Missourians live in rural parts of the state, which can make it tough for a patient to talk to their doctor. Even with all the changes in technology, Broadband is still one of the biggest barriers. For the past 18 months, healthcare providers and patients have relied heavily on telehealth. Before COVID, uh, BJC did about 4,000 video visits. And in 2020, during the pandemic, we did 190,000. But for Missourians without internet access, those virtual appointments are no easy task. The most vulnerable Missourians were not able to access these services because of lack of connectivity and or technology ownership. So far, Missouri has received more than five billion federal dollars for COVID relief, with more on the way. And lawmakers are prepared to spend it on increasing broadband access. I do see um, where people miss their appointments all the time just um, because they don't want to leave their house or they um, can't catch a ride or something. So I know that it's telehealth is so important to us. In August, Governor Mike Parson announced the state would spend more than $400 million from the American Rescue Plan on Internet access. We suggested to numerous students throughout 2020 and 21 to seek alternative sites or local businesses to do their interviews. Besides health care, 23% of Missouri students also lack internet access. And Missourians with developmental disabilities say they too feel ramifications. Without access to broadband and support to use devices, people with developmental disabilities in Missouri can be left behind. Now, health care providers told lawmakers today that there are less people this year using telehealth than last year. But that all fluctuates based on the number of COVID cases. The House committee plans to meet again next month before they submit a report to the full General Assembly in December. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.